the world will never be ready for truth because the word world is not true. Truth is always absolute, reality keeps changing. Are individual experiences truth? No, individual experiences is psychological realities in which they live, social realities in which they live. So when we use the world, we don't have the necessary span of attention nor intention to pay attention to that. Sat, Sat Guru, can the truth ever be absolute? Truth is always absolute. Reality keeps changing. What's the difference? The difference is uh, you can paint your house whichever color you want today, but the foundation remains the same. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, I mean, uh, one, of the, one of the questions I... I um, uh, just considering this conversation is one of the questions I was really thinking about. And it's interesting you mentioned this idea of uh, absolute truth. Is I, I, wonder if, I wonder if the world today is ready for the truth, whatever that truth might be. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure that the world is. And, and the reason I ask that question is because I'm not sure how well each human being is versed in their own truth and how ready they are to receive that truth. Uh, there's an old expression that says, the only thing people hate more than the truth is the person who dares to speak it. Right? <laughs> so, you, you're telling the wrong guy, I've faced all of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going with this. <laughs> That's where I was going with this. I mean, one of the, your, your uh, yeah, just at a personal level, one of the things that I, just watching you from a distance, one of the things I love about how you traverse the space is you, you have this incredible ability, it appears to float over um, um, the ephemeral, you know, the stuff that's trendy and poppy and next, you just like, you float over it, but it's, it's seamless. And, and then when you, you know, release a book, the book lands and it captures the zeitgeist, the moment, it's like, and it, and it immediately goes to number one bestseller. And one of the things I was wondering, and I wanted to ask you this question as a person who battles with their own truth, by the way, and that's where this question is coming from. It's me musing to myself because there are truths to myself, about myself, about which I'm not sure I'm necessarily willing to confront. <laughs> Let me correct that question uh, first, Uzi. Uh, the thing is, uh, you said... The world, uh, is the world ready for truth? There is, world will never be ready for truth because the word world is not true. Because only the individual experience is true. Only you exist. The world is just a word. That is because you don't have. See, do you... Uh, call your children the world. No, you call them by name because you have the time and attention for those individual lives. So you call them by name, they are people, all right, they are individual people. When we use the world, we don't have the necessary span of attention nor intention to pay attention to that. So they are just one world, all right. So, world is a psychological manifestation in our minds. Actually, there are only people. People are people because of individual experiences. Are individual experiences truth? No. Individual experiences is psychological realities in which they live, social realities in which they live. So, that is not the truth. An individual is capable of experiencing truth, but individual individual as a person is not truth. The world is not capable of experiencing truth, but it is the truth. <laughs> Why did I say something so funny? <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that answer did not end the way I expected it. So, so, so 
let me then ask this question quite simply. What is the truth? If I am myself trying to confront the truth about myself, what is the truth then? See, uh, when I said something is absolute, that means you cannot define it, obviously. If you give a definition, it becomes a sp small piece of something, right? You can define something which has physical boundaries. You cannot define something which has no physicality to it, no boundaries to it. So truth is not something that you try to define and philosophize. Truth is something that you experience. How do you experience truth? The important thing is, if an individual human being, instead of busy making conclusions about everything in the world, if they just sit here looking at what is it that is making you make the conclusions, what is it that causes joy in you, what is it that causes misery in you, what is it that you like, what is it that you dislike, if you look at these things carefully, you will understand in how many ways you have set up prisms of confusion in your mind. You set up a prism, suppose I hold a prism in my hand and look at you, you will look very funny, you know. You will look somehow distorted. So I hold a prism and I think, who oh, is a funny looking guy. Well, this is my problem, not yours, isn't it? <laughs> so like this, we have set up multiple prisms, multiple prisms in the vision of our mind, where everything is confusing. And now we are thinking, how to find the truth, how to find the truth? No, you need to clean up your faculties, how you see, how you hear, how you smell, how you taste, how you perceive needs to be cleaned up. Truth is not th something that you try to see, you just clear your vision, then you will see.